Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a DIY, impossibly easy and inexpensive Dollar Tree farmhouse wreath. Um, we're going to use a willow wreath. This is actually a small one. Um, and we're going to use some wire edged burlap as well as a pick. The pick of your choice. Um, if you notice from the Dollar Tree, they have quite a few. I wanted to show you real quick. On the right is the 99 cent only stores willow wreath that you can get for 99 cents. And on the left is the one from the Dollar Tree. So the one from the 99 cent store is much fuller. This will work on either one. Um, I actually took this one out of my collection because it is ratty looking. I know that, that sounds silly, but I actually was looking for one that was ratty looking. I feel like that willow that's like broken off enhances the autumn feel. Like when things start to like, you know, when the branches start to die and the trees and the limbs and you know what I mean. So what we're going to do now is pick a variety of the Dollar Tree picks. They are gorgeous this year. I'm sorry if I'm the only one who thinks so, but I do. The one with the peony, the one with the sunflower, any one of these would work for this DIY. But what I decided to do was to go with the one with the pumpkin. The reason I like that one is because it's kind of long. It's got a lot of long embellishments. Um, the sunflower would have been, you know, would have been beautiful if you, if you want that look. But I kind of wanted to lay them all out here so you guys can get an idea of what they may look like on this tiny wreath. Um, and again, this is the smaller of the two wreaths that they sell at the Dollar Tree. This is the smaller of the willow wreath, okay? So I opted to go to this one. Like I said, it has some beautiful, um, like, like autumn weeds type flowers and a uh, little bit of wheat and some grass and it was very like long and wispy and I kind of thought that would go with my you know Dora Tora Tora breathe really well that whole uh, broken apart wispy look and I was trying to decide which direction I wanted the top to bottom so of course you want to do that whatever's pleasing to your eye and all I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck the end of this pick under a section of the willow and then I'm going to take the part that sticks out and I'm just going to twist it around. It is wired. There is like about a three or four inch stem depending on the pick that you choose down at the bottom. Once I have it inserted into a piece of willow, we're just going to go ahead and wrap it around um, just to secure it. There is, if you notice, there is zero glue on this wreath. Um, I did not mention that we're going to use a couple of pieces of uh, jute cord but I feel like that you know we're gonna use about eight inches of jute cord that barely makes it um, a dollar you know so this is like less than two dollars and fifty cents because we're definitely using way less than half of this ribbon so this ribbon I had gotten from last year I think it's coming I think it's come out again this year but it basically has glittery pumpkins all over it and it's wire edged and it's about two and a half inches and it's sheer and I just think it is so elegant looking I think it really elevates this wreath um, to the next level um, gives a tiny bit of glam as well as still keeping that farmhouse feel with the mesh and the colors and such so what I'm going to do is going to make a basic bow. I let, decided to leave the, the one tail on the left extra long and extra twisty. We're going to twist it up there in a second. I'll show you. But I wanted to just give it the look of having it twist around the wreath, which is optional. Um, I think I have photographed both ways. I may not have now that I'm thinking about it, but I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. And then we're just going to create a regular bow hand over hand like you tie in your shoes and then of course you want to play with it till it becomes aesthetically pleasing to you you want the bows to be balanced um, like I said I'm gonna leave the left tail a lot longer than the right tail um, but once you have it all worked out and of course you want the glittery side to be facing out so be mindful of that when you're tying it okay um, and once I have that all done, um, I'm going to take a piece of jute long enough to tie around the wreath. So probably just about five or six inches. Um, and I'm going to feed that underneath the knot of the bow. Um, we've done this lots before. People ask me, why don't you put the jute there before you tie it? And I just feel like it always gets in my way. For me, it's much easier to just take... Even if, even if I tied the bow too tight, I could take the tip of my scissor or a skewer and I could feed that jute underneath the knot. And this way, it just comes out much easier for me. 
Now, after I fed that under, I did have to tie the bow back tighter, um, which is fine. You just want to make sure you're done fluffing it. Um, I want to make sure it's even at this point, but I don't really care about making it like perfectly fluffed because I'm going to end up turning it over to tie the, the wreath on. I mean the bow on, excuse me, to the wreath, and it's going to end up getting squished anyway. So just make sure you get it balanced and you have the jute tied on there or tucked under there before you go ahead and tie it on, okay? And if you noticed, I also tied it over that stem that we wrapped around just to give it a little bit of more added security. Now, I didn't feel like I needed to do anything to this pick. I absolutely loved the way it was laying. I just needed to fluff the bow. And what I did with the ribbon is I ended up curling it back onto itself, almost like a, a hair curler. Um, and they created that curl in the wire. And then I ended up wrapping it around the long one. I ended up wrapping it up the wreath form and I just did that extra tight so when it loosened up already it would look beautiful and then for the other one I just did a finger wave curl like we've talked about before and then I just took a little piece of jute made the little um, hitch the little who you know noose hitch on there and I basically you want to be able to uh, just feed it onto any piece of willow that you can get your hands on um, in the center and the top you can glue it but again I was trying to make this a glue free project that's why it's impossibly easy okay now again this is one of these I'm almost embarrassed to make this a tutorial <laughs> but um, it's just to give you guys an idea of what you can do very very easily inexpensive and quickly as a matter of fact too especially if you're going to a for a hostess gift this would be a great hostess gift for less than two dollars and fifty cents you have this beautiful wreath and people will just be like how much did you spend on that so i hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial if you do give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions at all go ahead and leave them in the comments down below don't forget to share with friends and family anybody you know about anybody else you may know that want to get inspired for autumn and if you haven't yet click subscribe and when you do a little bell will pop up when you ring that bell youtube will let you know whenever i upload a new video as always you take care god bless and we'll see you next time bye